Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing great. Today in this video, we are going to learn about how to make this cool continuous title reveal animation in Premiere Pro. In this video, we are going to learn about a lot about this keyframing and masking. So make sure you don't skip any kind of parts in this video. Before we begin our tutorial, please kindly hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any amazing tutorials like this in the future. And that being said, without any further ado, let's get into it. Create a new project. I will name it as title animation. Click OK. Now we have to create a new sequence for our timeline. Go to File and click New. Select Sequence. I will use the HD Cam HD 1080p 30 frames per second. Click OK. Now we have to create that little bar animation that animates from left to right. And to do that, click on this pen icon and select the rectangle tool and make a shape like this. Just like that. And as you can see, a new layer is already created. Uh, zoom in a little. Yeah, extend it to 8 seconds maybe. Now we have to animate this bar from left to right or you can animate it from right to left. To do that, if you zoom in here, we can see the anchor point over here. And if I place it in the middle over here, once you put it there, go to the FX control panel and here you can see the shape and click on the drop down icon. There. To animate this shape from left to right, you have to uncheck this check icon uniform scale and you can see the horizontal scale and just reduce it to zero. There, we have nothing. And if you increase it, we have our shape now. And if you want the animation to start from right to left, all you have to do, just take the anchor point over here, place it on the right, just like that. And if I were to reduce it, now we can animate it from right to left. It's just that easy. And I will place the anchor point to the left since I want the animation to start from left to right. Now take the indicator to the start and keyframe the horizontal scale by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Decrease the horizontal scale to 0. I will just type in 0. Now we have to move the time indicator to 8 frames to the right. To do that, press right arrow key on your keyboard 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now change the horizontal scale back to 100. Click OK. Now if I were to zoom in here, you can see these two keyframes. Now let's play it and see how it looks. There. That looks good, but it's kind of a little fast. You can just drag it to the right to increase the duration and it will make the animation a little slower. Now that looks good. There. You can see the animation is little cut short and straightforward. We have to give it a little motion to make it more organic. To smooth out our animation, all you have to do, right click on the last keyframe and click on the ease out. This will give us that little slow win at the end of the animation. Just like that. Or you can just right click over here and add a little bezier. This will give a little smooth animation at the start. Now that looks perfect. Now we can move on to our next animation and to do that all you have to do is uh, hold alt on your keyboard and select this first layer and drag it about to duplicate it. Now click over here and in the effects and control panel delete these two keyframes by selecting it and hit backspace to delete it and uncheck the stopwatch. Now zoom in a little, click over here and just enlarge it like this. Now that looks better. We will move this shape a little above. To do that, in the effects and control panel, drag the position to the top. And that looks perfect. We will place the anchor point to the right since we want our animation to start from the right and finish at the left. That looks good. Now place the time indicator at the start. Now keyframe the horizontal scale and bring it to zero. Now again move the time indicator to 8 frames to the right. To do that, press right arrow key on your keyboard 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now change the horizontal scale to 100. It will create a keyframe automatically. Just zoom in a little. Now right click over here and press ease out. And right click over here and select ease in. Let's play it and see how it looks. There. That looks better. 
but we want to make this animation little more dynamic we want this second animation to start little after the first animation to do that just select the second shape layer and move it a little just like that this will give us a little time gap to animate one shape after another now that looks perfect now we have to make our text reveal inside our shape take the text tool just make sure you don't select any of this layer and click on anywhere over here this will give us a new text layer on its own without making the shape layer as its host now let's type in i will type in text reveal i will change the font to maybe unison heavy caps i'll change the color to black take the text and place it over here you can use any color you want maybe you can use red it's your choice place it in the center since we want our text to be reviewed by the shape animation we have to create a mask for our text layer it will work as an invisible layer that hides our text to do that select the text layer over here and extend it to this end now extend it over here just like that now select the text layer in the effects and control panel go to the opacity over here now click on this rectangle mask tool we now created a mask but it's not the shape that we wanted we have to change the shape of our text mask to match our layer below all you have to do select over here and hold shift and select over here and drag it like this just like that place it at the end over here now again select here hold shift and select here now drag it to the right now that's it change the mask feather to zero click ok to sharpen the edges place it at the beginning like this now place the time indicator where our shape animation starts now select the text layer and go to effects and control in the effects and control select the mask under opacity now keyframe the mask path just like that if you click on this mask you can see the mask over here hold shift on your keyboard and drag it to the right just like that now that looks perfect as you can see a keyframe is already created now again take the time indicator to 8 frames to the right press right arrow key on your keyboard 8 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now select the shape and drag it to the left until you can see the text completely now let's play it and see how it looks that looks perfect as you can see our text revealing itself as the shape layer below now that looks perfect now we have to animate the shape layer from here to here and by doing so it will reveal a new text on its own to do that take the time indicator to 1 second 10 frame and make sure you select the main shape layer here go to effects and control panel and keyframe the position and again move the time indicator 8 frames to the right press right arrow key on your keyboard 8 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now bring it down just like that as you can see our text is still there because our mask is still there and we want our mask to follow this shape select the text layer in the effects and panel take the time indicator to where our position keyframe starts and select the text layer go to mask and add keyframe again press right arrow key on your keyboard eight times one two three four five six seven eight now select the mask and grab it over here hold shift on your keyboard and just bring it like this now let's play it and see how it looks as you can see our text become invisible as soon as our shape comes below that looks good now we have to create a new text reveal as our shape comes below to do that what you have to do just take the text tool over here and click anywhere on the screen and type in text reveal 2 now place this layer at the very beginning and take the text and place it here since we won't be using any anchor point and we are going to use the mask so you can just leave it right there in the effects and control go to text and under opacity make a shape mask just like before bring it down shift select these two edges and move it to the right again shift select these two edges now move it to the left and change the mask feather to zero 
Now take the time indicator where our shape starts coming below. Click on the graphics layer. In the effect set panel, zoom in a little. Go to the position starting keyframe and go to text layer. What you have to do? Under opacity in mask, keyframe the mask path. Just like that. Select the mask to make the mask visible. Just hold it and press shift on your keyboard and bring it above. Just like that. We have to make our text reveal as soon as our shape comes below. For that we have to animate our mask to match the shape layer. And select the graphic layer again. Zoom in over here. Take the time indicator at the end frame. Again go back to text reveal tool layer. Go to mask. Select the mask and bring the mask just like that. Now let's play it and see the magic. Yeah, that looks amazing. As you can see as soon as our shape comes below you can see the texture will happening. Because there is an invisible mask following the shape layer as it comes down. Isn't it amazing? That looks really good. Now let's move on to the next animation. We have to take the shape layer again above and at the same time we have to make another text reveal. Just take the indicator, go to 2 second 15th frame. Now click on the graphics layer. In the position, click on the add keyframe to make a new keyframe. Now again press right arrow key on your keyboard 8 times to move the time indicator on your timeline 8 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now bring the shape above just like that as you can see our texture will is still there just like before we have to make our mask follow the shape take the time indicator to this first frame go to text reveal tool layer in the opacity select the mask in the mask path click on the add keyframe again go to graphics layer and place the time indicator to the second keyframe again select the text reveal tool layer go to mask select the mask and just grab the mask, hold shift on your keyboard and bring it above just like that. Now let's play it and see the magic. Now as you can see as our shape comes above our text became invisible. Now that looks really good. And just like that we have to make a new text appear as it comes above. To do that we have to create a new text layer. Take the text tool over here and just type in anywhere you want. It will create a new text layer automatically. And I will name it as text reveal 3. Now place the layer just like that. Take the more tool and place it over here. And just like before we have to create a new mask for it. Go to text reveal. Under the opacity click on this right angle mask. Shift select this last two points and bring it to the right. Again shift select this left two points and bring it to the left. Change the mask feather to 0. Now select the graphics layer. Go to this first keyframe. And select the text reveal layer. Under the opacity in mask, keyframe the mask path. And again go to graphics layer. Go to the second keyframe. Now select the text reveal 3 layer. Select the mask and bring the mask down like this to match the layer shape. That looks perfect. Now again go to graphics layer and take the time indicator where our lost keyframe is. Now go to text reveal 3. Again select the mask. Grab the mask and bring it above. Just like that. I changed the color of some of the text to make it look different. Now let's play it and see how it looks. Now that looks perfect. Now we have to finish the end animation and just we have to make this bar go from right to left and make the shape layer from left to right. Select the graphics layer, go to 5 second. In the effects and control panel, click on the horizontal scale and press add keyframe. This will automatically create a new keyframe here. Now move 8 frames to the right. Press right arrow key on your keyboard 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. Now bring the horizontal scale back to 0. Now that looks perfect. Now we have to make our text reveal 3 mask to follow the horizontal scale animation. Take the time indicator at the start of this keyframe. Go to text reveal 3 and go to mask. Select the mask. 
click on the add keyframe now go to graphics layer place the indicator at the end now go to texture level 3 go to mask select the mask and just bring it to the last just like that now let's play it Now that looks perfect. As you can see, our text table mask follow in the shape animation, which makes it really good. Now we just have to animate this ball shape from right to left. Select this graphic layer, go to this first keyframe, and select this first graphic layer, which is our ball. All you have to do, click on the add keyframe of our horizontal scale. Again, press right arrow key on your keyboard eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now change the horizontal scale back to zero. Let's play it and see the final end product. That looks super good. We now animated our text reveal animation in Premiere Pro and it looks super good. I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. All you have to do is just make your text mask to follow the shape animation, that's all. That is the main trick of this tutorial. Let's play it one more time and see how it looks. We can put a video below to make it look more amazing. Just select all this layer and bring it above one layer. Now place the video below. Let's play it and see how it looks. Now that looks perfect. And that's how you guys create this super title animation in Premiere Pro without any external plugins. I hope you guys learned something about these keyframes and mask and how it works. If you guys be a little more creative than this, you will get amazing results. Believe me guys, you will be amazed yourself. And that being said, we are finally at the end of our tutorial. Hey guys, wait, wait, wait. Before you go, I will show you something amazing. Just look at it. Yeah, I have created this project for you guys. You can customize it however you want. Just double click on the next sequence and just change the text if you want. You can change it anything you want. Just like title, tutorial or anything. You can change your premium. You can customize this title animation as you see fit. It's completely yours and you can put it on your own video if you want. Just bring a video below and that's it. You can download this project for just $1. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to download. And if you visit that link and you will see the project file over here. And all you have to do is just pay $1 and download the project file. And it's all yours and you can use it as you see fit in all of your project. You don't have to worry about any kind of copyright strikes, it's all yours. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more amazing tutorials like this, hit the subscribe button. Until the next tutorial, I hope you guys stay safe. Thank you.